Hey guys, I'm going to uh, try and figure out how to get this lead off of here. I'm sorry about the noise and stuff it's going to create. I've got a fan sitting right here to uh, keep the air moving across in front of me. I'm also going to wear my uh, respirator. I just put some new filters in it as well as a face shield while I'm doing all this. So hopefully it'll uh, keep all the lead and everything down to a minimum. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and plug everything up and put my respirator on and get started.
shrub view there. That one actually wasn't too bad. It's easier than I thought it was going to be. Once you get the metal a little bit warm, that stuff seems to flow off pretty good. A uh, little, little bit of work with the wire brush. I'm going to go back over and heat it again and uh, take a dirty rag and wipe over just to make sure I got it all off. I've also got some down here in this corner to do. I think I'm going to turn the car up on its edge a little bit more to get to it. But uh, as you can see, that uh, came off relatively easy in about uh, 10 minutes. So hopefully that's not going to be too bad. I'm actually going to sweep all the uh, lead drippings up. A friend of mine casts his own bullets, so I'm going to give all the lead to him to reuse so it doesn't end up in the uh, landfill or something. So I'm going to give him that. I got the kit from Eastwood, which came with a DVD, which is actually pretty neat. This box up here. Uh, it came with uh, two pounds of the uh, lead-free body solder, which is what's going to go back and place the lead. So that way you can actually grind and sand it without worrying about getting lead poisoning. Uh, it also came with a container of the uh, soldering paste, which is kind of like a flux. And then it came with uh, some tallow which you dip the paddles into as you're working the lead into place come with a couple of different profiles you dip those in there while the uh, body solder is still molten you take and you force it down kind of in the profiles that you want and once you get it uh, down about where you want it it came with one of these uh, body files so that you can actually file it closer into shape and then if you have to you can sand it uh, came with a handle for that as well, although it looks like I'm going to have to pre-drill it for the screws to uh, screw that piece to it. And it also came with a uh, flux brush, acid brush as they call it. Like I said, the instructions and everything are actually pretty good. The DVD is uh, kind of dated, but all the information in it is really informative. Um, put you back up on the tripod here. Um, I'm actually using my wife's camera because it looks like it's a little bit better than mine and the batteries in mine are dead. But the only thing is I can't see if I'm in the frame or not. So uh, that being said, I'm going to uh, probably go ahead and edit this video and put it up on the internet for you guys. And uh, I'll get back to this tomorrow and see if I can get the other side done. And I've also got a couple places here on the uh, windshield that I wanted to do as well where the uh, uh, a pillar, I guess you call it, meets a roof panel or some lead work right in here and it's pretty cheesed. So I'm going to take it out and uh, probably redo it with that lead. I'm thinking those two pounds that I've got that came with that kit should be about enough to do both of the sail panels and the uh, uh, A pillars. And I think that's about the only place I'm going to use. I actually thought about where I put this uh, quarter panel in here and I've about got it all stitched up, uh, giving the lead the shot there. It just depends on how well this works out. Uh, instead of using the uh, Duraglass and uh, body filler there, I think I might give the lead a shot there too if I've got enough left after I get these uh, sail panels done. So with that, that's 15 minutes. I'll uh, talk to you guys later.